Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're taking a look at 10 great apps that offer amazing lock screen widgets for your iOS 16 device. Now with the release of iOS 16 and the new lock screen widgets, there have been a lot of apps released and of course a lot of apps updated with lock screen widgets. But lately it seems like not a lot of them are coming out and not a lot of big apps are updating with lock screen widgets. So it's actually harder to find some really good lock screen widgets widgets for your device. So in this video, I will share with you guys 10 of those that I believe are really good and you should have them on your iOS 16 device. Now before we get started, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are not yet subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button of this video as it really helps out a lot. And we're starting things off with Google Maps. Now Google has actually updated a lot of its apps to support lock screen widgets. And one of them, which is probably one of the most used, most used apps by Google, is Google Maps. And you will get two different widgets. So you will have a bigger one that shows your location right here, basically the time you need to arrive to your home location of course you will need to have location services turned on for that and then you will also have right there a smaller widget which allows you to quickly search on google maps so any time you want to just search for a location you can do that from here simply by tapping that button battery widget is up next and it offers some really great battery widgets but also much more you can have your storage there or the cpu usage of your device so here we have three different examples so we have the battery right there and then we have the cpu usage and then here we have a bigger one which shows the current battery percentage as well as the current free storage on the device it offers a few more different widgets so let's just take a look at them so here are the different widgets that you can add from this app. So we have the battery here, we have the storage, so you will have a bigger and a smaller one. You have the memory, this is for the RAM memory. And then you will have here, this is what it's called, like a super widget, which we just saw right there. And then you will have here the traffic statistics for your device, so the uploads and downloads there. And you will have also a smaller one for that. So this will show you, of course, your cellular data, which is very, very useful. Next up is Social Widget. The Social Widget will allow you to have your socials on the lock screen of your device and you can follow basically your account from here or maybe any other account that you want you're maybe interested in and you can see right here the followers so you will have something like this which is a bigger widget i have here my instagram and then you will have smaller ones of course which shows you the logo of the social network and of course right there the number of followers it's pretty easy to set up all you have to do is go into the app and just add any account you want and then once you have added them you add the widgets here and just pick any account you want to display and you're good to go you can have your socials and your followers right on your lock screen next up are widgets by nike run so nike run also offers lock screen widgets and it actually has a lot of those so you will have your weekly run streak right here you will have the miles that you have done during the month and you will have a quick start button which allows you to start running directly from here but it actually offers much more so let's go ahead and take a look at all the cool widgets that you can add with nike run so here we have a running chart and then we have monthly miles which we just saw right there we have the weekly streaks that one right there and you will have the plan progress so if you have a plan there set up on the app you will see the progress right here of course it offers a smaller and bigger widgets for the same thing so we have the plan countdown right here the quick start and we have the last run which basically shows you all your statistic for the last run that you have done using the nike run app next up is weather gods now this is a weather app that offers some really amazing lock screen widgets i really love the widgets from this app you can see right here we have the whole set completed here so we have the inline widget which is really cool and you have a few different options there you will have a bigger widget and of course the smaller ones which are really really awesome so we have here the weather highlights we have the air quality right there and the wind right here it offers much more so let's take a look at them so here we have weather gods and all its widgets so we have voice over smart conditions right here and then we have the weather highlights which is that one right there we have of course the weather conditions and then we have the temperature here air quality wind pressure and everything else humidity right there you can see the visibility and everything else every detail you need to know about weather 
or any city that you choose, of course, you can see them right here. Now, tapping on a widget, you will see a list of the cities that you have added on the app and you can change the cities from here. So, of course, on different widgets, you can have actually different cities. Next up is an app called Lock Screen Widgets Live. It offers a lot of different widgets for the lock screen. So here we have a few examples. We have the calendar, which is actually really cool. We have the steps there and a launcher here for the photos app. Now this is another app that actually offers a lot more. So you will have a ton of different widgets. So let's just quickly take a look at some of those. So here we have the steps, we have smaller and a bigger one, then we'll have the calendar and then we have the app launchers. So it actually has a different way of approaching this from like the usual app launchers that we get on the lock screen. So it actually has these pre set up. So you don't have to set these up on the app. All you have to do is just add them to your lock screen. It will have basically launchers here for most of the apps that we get on the iPhone, the stock apps, and it will have a few more, of course, for the most popular apps like YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, which can actually add to your lock screen and use those to actually launch these apps directly from your lock screen. Count time is up next. Now this app allows to show countdowns on the lock screen of your device, and it does it by using multiple kinds of widgets. So you can have an inline widget right there. You can have a bigger one and of course, a smaller ones as well. What's cool is that you can have multiple of these smaller ones and have different countdowns showing in different widgets. What I don't like about this is that the bigger one only displays one countdown. It would be really cool if you can have multiple there. So basically have like in line here, have a few different, maybe three or four different countdowns, which it would display, which actually can be done instead of showing here like two lines for one countdown, it can be in one line and that would be very, very useful. Lock screen launcher is up next. Now this app allows us to launch apps, your shortcuts and even websites directly from the lock screen. So here I have three different icons. This is the calendar app. This is the Apple website. And this is a shortcut that I can run directly from here, which is really, really awesome. So anytime you want to have maybe a website handy or a shortcut you need to run quickly without having to go into the app, you can have them right on your lock screen using this app, but you will actually need to, of course, to set them up. So let's just go into the app. So on the app, all you have to do is tap the plus button right there and you can choose here what you want to do. You want to open the app, you go here and just select any app you want. You can, of course, search them as well. You want to add a URL, you go here, tap to add here and you can add any URL, URL, just paste it right there and you're good to go. And then the shortcuts tap here, add the name. So you need the exact name, just like the shortcut na name is on the shortcuts app and it will run it for you from the lock screen. Once you have done all that, you can choose here a few different customization options. And of course, choose maybe an icon here, then tap the save button and you're good to go. Next up is iScreen. Now iScreen is an app that offers a lot of different widgets, a lot of different choices. So it's not focused on one kind of widget. You can basically find everything there. So here we have this one that I really, really like. It displays your Wi-Fi right there, your cellular data, your Bluetooth, and also your iOS version and the battery, all that information in one lock screen widget. Then we have here the memory usage, and then we have a contact which we can call directly from here. And we even have steps or right there. So it really offers a lot. So let's just head on into the app. So once you go into the app, just head on to lock screen right there and you will have all kinds of different things here. So you will have quick launchers. You have the system here. So different things for like different system things on your iPhone, like battery, disk usage, and of course, brightness and all that. Then you will have text. You can add any text you want, different kinds of icons. Now, all of these can be customized. So let's say we want to add that. We don't have to actually have that. We can just tap right there and pick any like different emoji we want from here and we're good to go. So just like that, you can have any emoji you want on your lock screen simply by tapping right here. It will save it to your widgets and then you set it up from the lock screen. So we started the video with a Google app and we're ending it with another Google app, Chrome. It has some really amazing widgets for the lock screen, very useful. You can see them right here. These are all the widgets that it offers and all of them are in the smaller size. So you can start a search here. You can start a private tab, a voice search or play the Dino game, which is really, really cool. So if you use this app, I know a lot of iPhone users actually use Google Chrome and you can actually have these very useful lock screen widgets on your device.
So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to download any of these apps, make sure to check out the pinned comment. All the links will be there. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one.